it can't be point zero 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 five. It has to be point zero zero zero. It can't be above or below. It has to be exact. Some people might not just completely care. It's like, it's close enough, it's only a sixteenth off. Everything else might not be a sixteenth off. And if both pieces that are supposed to be like parallel were each a sixteenth off one plus and the other minus, that makes the total difference one eighth. And that's point one two five. I'm just looking for ones that have slots like this that can be organized. These are the two. The two. This one's smaller, but it has these sturdier walls. And while well, this one is bigger, these are as the flimsiest things ever. And they're just falling apart, and it's driving me crazy. That means that these are gonna like get messed up, at least to me. It means that they're gonna get messed up and I don't <laughs> like that. <laughs> nice catch, Nathan. <laughs> well, I love it. No one who didn't love it would devote 200 hours to something, I hope. That'd be really sad. Um, anyways. It's a challenge. It's a challenge that isn't too overwhelming. It's a challenge that I can tackle. It's a challenge that I can complete every year. And I like that, you know? It's, and it's more than that, it's a community. No, no, you just pull that. There you go. Now the next one. One second. One second. <laughs> okay. Right. okay, let's do this. I spend the majority of my time with people in robotics because after build season, you're family. I mean, I, I literally have spent more time at the school than I have at my home. I got bu bumped up to captain last year and then drive coach, mech lead, so um, there was a steep learning curve with that. Uh, I like the math and I like the physics behind it. I like the theory and I like the design process. And then here I like the uh, team structure and the working with the people, so. Yeah, I was wondering about that. We need to get you a crown, Hannah. You're popular. I like it. I like the group of people, so that's why I'm here as often as I can be. Homework notwithstanding. <laughs> yeah, too short. Enabling. Simplified game rules. Basically, you can stack the totes, you can put the cans on top of the totes, you can throw the noodles across the entire field. You have this center divider, this median, in the middle of the field. So you're not playing directly against another alliance. So you don't necessarily win or lose your matches, you just go off your match score. There's going to be three teams on each alliance, so six on the field. Then a whole nother group of six is going to come on. There are going to be loading stations where you can load the gray totes into your robot. You can load one after another, bam, 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 and get them stacked, which could give us a lot of points right there. It's gonna be interesting, it's gonna be a fun game. We'll see.
show that you go and you cheer for the other Chinese and you make them feel important. If you see anything cool and nice, they have to be sincere. It's interesting because to me it's not really the robot. It's not only the technical part. I think the technical part they can learn, even at school or somewhere. Uh, but the teamwork, that's, it's a big deal. Anything else you can remember? Headphone? Head oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> 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 Person with the most, the team, the alliance with the most points is the one that wins. But everybody's gonna have that one or two matches that their bot just doesn't work. It's not known or predicted. At first, I thought it wasn't a big deal. It'd take us like five seconds to adjust and we get back to driving. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't figure out what it was.
that. That was definitely scary. It got my pulse up. That was just, thank you. We still don't know what it was. We're still talking to national instruments, I think. So we're still working on what precisely went wrong in that match. It's been great working with that. I know it's nerve wracking. You guys handled it really well. So. If you don't have stress, if you don't have any problems, you really don't learn as much. Even when we are late, we are tired, after 12 hours of working, they still have the energy, and they want everything beautiful, every single part of the robot. This has just kind of cemented that I want to do something technical. This has changed how I live. change what I want to do with my life. A lot of us have discovered more of ourselves with Shockwave. I've grown to find everybody is needed on the team. Even if it doesn't seem like a big job, that person is needed on the team.